Okay, we're going to run through the Cisco VPN client software. And first we're going to look at installing the software itself. Once you've got the software onto your machine, it'll be in a self-extracting zip file. So simply open it and let it unzip the files to your temp directory. It'll do that and it'll tell you that it's unzipped successfully. And when you click OK, the installation will start automatically. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Click Next. Unless you want to change where it's installing to, click Next. Next. And the software will install. And I've speeded this up. It takes a little bit longer. But when it's done, simply click Finish. and you'll be asked to restart your machine. Simply click yes to reboot your PC and your PC will reboot. Okay, once your PC has rebooted, you're going to want to launch the client software. Okay, and you'll find it on your start menu. It's listed under all programs and it's in Cisco Systems VPN client and it's a VPN client. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shortcut to that on the desktop because I'm going to be using it quite a few times. I might shift that into the middle because we're going to be using that a while. And then simply open the software from there. and that's your VPN software opened but as yet still unconfigured. Okay so to configure the VPN client you're going to need some bits of information your IP address, the group name and the group password. So for a new entry simply click new and give the connection entry a sensible name. Now, this can be anything you want to be. Under description, you can either leave it blank or put in anything you want. What is important is in the host, you need to put the IP address of the Cisco device that you are connecting to. Now I'll blur this one out just so you can't see what the end of it is because I don't want you trying to connect to my firewall. Okay, then you're going to need the group name for the VPN and the shared secret. In here it says password, but it's a shared secret. To put that in and then put it in once again. This information should be provided to you by your service provider or by the IT department. And what I tend to do is click on the transport tab. You don't need to do this, but click on the transport tab and click allow LAN access. And then to connect it, simply select the VPN and hit connect and should be prompted for your own username and password tap in your username tap in your password and click OK now all being well it should completely disappear and down at the bottom you see the little padlock on the taskbar it should say VPN connected now if you want to disconnect one that's running go back to the little padlock at the bottom there and right click it and you can simply click disconnect if you want to break it off or you can open the full client and hit the disconnect button and then it'll disconnect and it'll say not connected now if your IT department or your service provider has given you um, a PCF file a config file then you don't need to manually put all the information in yourself they will give you a file that looks like that. You can import that directly into your VPN client. If you launch, and this time, instead of clicking New, we're going to click Import and browse to the PCF file you've been given. Ours is on our desktop. Select and open, and it should say that it was successfully imported. Simply click OK. Click on your connection and click connect. 
Mark. It's remembered my username from last time, but type in your username and your password and click OK. And the VPN will connect. Down at the bottom, it will say VPN client connected. To disconnect, simply right click the padlock and select disconnect, or if you like, open the full VPN client and hit the disconnect button. Now, if you wanted to create your own PCF file to give to your colleagues or to give out to members of your staff, then this is what you need to do. You need to manually con uh, configure the VPN client like we did earlier. And once you have it up and running, the config will be saved for you. If you have a look on the hard drive of your machine, it's in your C drive, and it will be in Programs, File, Cisco Systems, VPN Client, Profiles. And there's a PCF file that the client has created for you. So what you can do is you can give that to other members of your staff and they can simply import it. And that's everything you should need to know.